everyone's doing well with your New Year's resolutions. Hope you at home are doing well too. You know, losing weight is the number one, number one New Year's resolution for women. That's according to a Marist poll. And this morning, we've got some inspiration for you from two women featured in People Magazine's Half Their Size Issue, who lost more than half their body weight. We're gonna meet them live in a moment. They're here. But first, let's take a look at their stories. 35-year-old Keisha Reed battled her weight most of her life. Picked on, teased. It caused me to have low self-esteem. At almost 300 pounds, she hit her breaking point shortly after giving birth to her son, Christopher, in 2004. I wanted to be active. I just wanted to be there for my son more than anything. Elizabeth Horneck faced the same struggles as a child, feeling left out on her swim team. I swam year round, so I was always in a swimsuit. I felt as though I was different just because of my physique. In college, Elizabeth became pregnant and didn't even know until her water broke. I was in labor for 24 hours and gave birth to my daughter who was completely healthy. Both women inspired by their children to shed the pounds. Elizabeth cut out carbs, sugar, and dairy from her diet, while Keisha joined Weight Watchers. I was able to do portion control. It taught me how to make better choices as far as foods, and it really worked for me. It really did. It really did. <laughs> People Magazine editor Zoe Ruderman is back with us. We appreciate this, Zoe. Happy Always look forward here. to this issue. It's been 17 years. 17 years. Wow. And this is a reader favorite. All the staffers, mm -hmm. all the readers get so excited for it. Of course, this time of year, everyone's thinking about getting healthy, getting sure. fit, losing weight. So it's really inspiring. Have you found a common theme in the 17 years and what works? We have. We found that people are more successful when they surround themselves by people who want to help them on their journey. Yeah. So whether it's a family member, a friend who wants to lose weight, a spouse, a family like we saw yesterday. Yes. You want to be with people who will support you and be mm -hmm. happy for you when you lose that weight. That's right. Okay, we're going to meet these two inspiring women. We're going to have Keisha first. So let's see a picture of Keisha before. This is her before, and this is Keisha now. Come on out, Keisha. <laughs> said it was the birth of your son. Yes. I wanted to be around for my son. I wanted to be healthy and active and just, I didn't want to miss any important life milestones mm -hmm. in his life. Yeah. And this is what we mm -hmm. hear from so many women, especially in the issue, that they have a child and they think, I don't want my kid to be bullied. You mentioned that you were ostracized mm -hmm. when you were younger. Mm -hmm. You didn't want that life for your son and you wanted to pass along healthy eating to him exactly. too. And you've mm -hmm. done that. And you have kept it off for four years. Yes. Yeah. Kept it off. Mm -hmm. Well, I joined, I joined a boxing gym. I also uh -oh. go to yoga. I practice um, intermittent fasting, and I also, I'm vegan. Mm -hmm. I have a, I practice a plant-based lifestyle. Yeah, all mm -hmm. those things, you made those changes and you've yep. stuck with it, mm -hmm. and it's so hard sometimes. Yeah. And you've been doing this, you've been on this journey since 2005. Yes. And I think that's really important for uh -huh. people to remember, you can have setbacks and put the sure. weight back on. That doesn't mean, oh, this is gonna be my life forever, I'm always gonna be overweight. You just have to keep at it. That's right, it. exactly, you know, never give up. And never give up that pose, girl. Never give up that. You, are, you are holding that pose. I love that. I love that. Thank you so much. And now, Elizabeth. This was Elizabeth before. And Elizabeth, come on out. We want to see you. Hey. How are you? Hey, girl. I love but just the confidence that you have. Congratulations to you both. And it also was your child as, as well yes, that helped you get through this. How? Well, I was living in my car mm -hmm. and I was going to school and I was working on my final presentation for interior architecture sitting in the computer lab and I swear to you I peed my pants and they got my classmate and they took me to the health center and the lady was like, you can't leave. You I didn't know like, you're pregnant. You, no. you, you, you were so disconnected from your body. So disconnected, yes ma'am. So not until you went into labor did you know? No ma'am. Wow. This might be the most impactful story we've had in all 17 years of doing the half size <laughs> mm -hmm. issue. I mean, nobody in the office can stop talking about this. The readers are just so impacted by this. It's really incredible. Oh, goodness gracious. And and so what? It, now you're a, a, what are you doing now? Well, I am a body empowerment coach. Oh! So what's that, right? Yeah! Body empowerment coach! So I've gotten 
gotten my certification in personal training and nutritional therapy, and mm -hmm. so now I get to help others. Making your I message. Get message. to help others. That's and it. it's so, and it helps me. So I get to help others on their journey and it helps inspire me as well. Aren't you in some bodybuilding competitions as well? <laughs> and all that kind of stuff? Yeah, I oh, do. Yes, okay. yes ma'am. Right. <laughs> Incredibly proud of you both. And so we thank you. Thank, thank you. you thank for you. sharing these stories with all of us and just giving us that motivation, We're especially this time it. of the year. Okay. And you can see People's Half Their Size Issue. It hits newsstands tomorrow. And to learn more about our January wellness challenges and how you can be your best self in the new year, serene in 2019, yes. you're going to see it on our website.